Okay, so we'll switch over to the SAS syntax now and see how we can make this look even better. So step one, I'm just going to cancel watching any changes and I'm going to rename my files to have a SAS extension. So let's change the mixins file. Let's change our app file and let's change our list as well. So before we restart the watch process, we'll update the syntax and then we'll go ahead and start to compile this. So we can leave app.sass out of this and we can focus on mixins and our list module. So for our mixins, we obviously need to make a few changes here. We can define this using an equal sign now rather than the at extend. And of course, what we can do is we can get rid of all of our curly braces. So we'll just get rid of them. And as long as we're indenting properly, this will work as normal. So this isn't what we really want to make them tidier. It's more like the list. So first things first, get rid of your curly braces. So that's great. And now all we need to do is say plus E. So like this. So how clean does this look? We've got a list. We've got a list item, which is an element. Again, if these were called element, that might look a little bit nicer. So modifier. In fact, let's go ahead and change these here as well. You could, of course, create another mix in and reference the uh, longer name if you wanted to. So you could switch between them. So now we have this nice, clean syntax. We know our list styles. We know our element styles and we know any modifiers. And of course, if you wanted to apply a modifier to our list, you can do plus modifier and then you could go ahead and define that in there as well. So really nice and clean and we should be ready to go now. So let's restart the watch process, but this time with the SAS extension and we shouldn't see any errors. And of course, we do need to update all of our styles to not include semicolons. I'm not massively used to this, so a little bit tricky. So there we go. So let's go and well, we're already watching and we should be good to go. We can see that this works in exactly the same way. So we've now seen how we can use this with SAS and we've now drilled down into the most basic form of using BEM, using our mixins to define out our styles. And this now we can use anywhere and it just works perfectly and it looks really neat and tidy.